Hey everybody, it's Angela and I am back with another process video and this is a really simple layout and it is a selfie that I took while I was on the backhoe uh, the weekend before last and this was kind of my first time um, really using the backhoe. I've moved it around before but I'd never really done any of the controls or anything and so um, I was helping my husband pull fence posts and so I'd drive real close up to the post and um, he'd put a chain around the post and I'd use the bucket to lift it up and pull it up out of the ground. And so this was a big step for me because I'm not real comfortable with a lot of this big farm equipment and stuff. So I'm trying my best to get in there and use it and get comfortable with it. And so I took a selfie while I was on there. And I am using some of my Scraptastic and Coco Daisy kits that have been on my desk. And I'm also going through this bin of just leftover pieces um, and cut aparts uh, that are also on my desk. I have two different trays, uh, two different enamelware trays. This one has more of the cut aparts and stuff from different kits and things, and a few packets like this. Uh, o I think it's an O-Snap um, collection of die cuts in it. And then I have another tray that's just, um, it's actually just like leftover die cuts that I've cut out or leftover pieces from other projects that I felt were still useful. So I'm going through these cut aparts and just pulling ones that I like the colors or I like the sentiment that's on there. And it takes me a while to go through this. So um, while I'm going through I'll just talk to you about the farm and stuff and I actually my husband took some video of me running the backhoe and I put it up on our farm channel I have started a farm channel and I think I've got six videos up there and so I'll link it down below if you're interested in seeing me actually drive this backhoe or seeing kind of what our farm looks like or what our wheat harvest look like um, and our beans and stuff so I put that all up on a farm channel and yeah, so I'm just trying my best to familiarize myself with the equipment so that I can jump on and help when needed. And you know, I'm not getting any younger, so I need to let the machines do the work and um, you know, so that, because some of the work is just so physical, I just can't do it anymore. It's just too, too much for me. So I need to be able to jump on a machine and get this work done. So, um, I'm going to label this layout just uh, backhoe selfie and I liked that today word and so I want to put that in there somewhere but I don't want it to be you know the title so I have to kind of move it around a little bit until I find a place that I like it and I decide on just a horizontal column across the page so I'm just um, filling in this last space on the right with some of the cut aparts and that gives me a full column right across and the paper is a Coco Daisy exclusive paper some of the others I don't recall what they were this is really just a layout of kind of little bits and pieces and scraps um, and it's not like a huge elaborate layout it's not doesn't have any like really special technique or anything super new but you know sometimes you don't need to make a masterpiece every time you do a layout sometimes just a simple layout to get a story told is just fine and it gives you a little bit of um, you know differences in layouts as someone's flipping through your album not all of them are the same you have some that are simple and some that are more elaborate and it just kind of breaks it up so um, this is the other enamelware bin that I have and these are just pieces with leftover ends um, extra die cuts when I run something through my die cut machine for a project or whatever and so I went through and pulled a few more pieces out of that as well and I like this big red circle or some kind I want some kind of circle element on there because I felt it was a little bit too linear and so I go ahead and cut this circle in half I'm just gonna put some at the upper left and some on the bottom right and then that's where I'm gonna do some extra clustering I'm looking through these are extra die cuts I made when I was making a I think a mini album and then I just had some left over 
So I'm going to go ahead and commit to that and put the big red circles down. And then I have that thing which is like a little calendar so I can put the date on there. And then I also had that extra little medallion piece that um, was left over from when I did a baby album and I used those medallions. So I'm going to go ahead and use that last medallion here on this page just as an accent because I like the colors. Wanted to keep it all bright and cheery because it was really hot. It's been in the 90s, the upper 90s for quite a while um, this summer and so sometimes up in the hundreds when we've been working out in the field. So it was pretty hot and luckily there is a cover over the backhoe so you get a little bit of shade but it's not enclosed or air conditioned or anything like that so and these are some foam thickers I just uh, got in one of my last kits and I was really excited to get them because I didn't have any uh, navy blue thickers so this was really cool to be able to get a set so I'm just going to spell out my title and I'm going to use that upper red circle to kind of ground the title on there. And that's where I had had the word today and I didn't want it to be the title and stand out that much so I'm going to move the today to another location. So I'm just spelling this out and I'm kind of glad to have a title that has the word selfie in it because it's something that's in our lexicon now that will probably be very dated in the future and give someone a chuckle when they um, when they read it. So there's the word today and so I decided to put it there and kind of start my journaling off with um, that big word. So I'm just cutting off the manufacturer's strip on this and then I still wanted to you know add a little more to it it was still a little bit too plain and simple for me so I needed to find a few more items so I'm just kind of looking and nothing's really working for me here so I go to the enamel dots that came in one of my last kits as well and I think these are the Chamel enamel dots and so I just put a couple clusters of those just to give it extra texture even though that medallion um, does have texture because it's one of those where you fold it back to make the medallion so I go back to these snap die cut pieces because I like the colors and stuff in there and since I had the word today I knew they'd kind of match in and it would have more of that navy blue so I'm just looking through that and I find that one um, there's two of them that have like little binder clips on them so I thought that was cute and then I find that geotag and just a few more little items that you know I can kind of sprinkle around and just give a little more interest to the page And then I find a few little hearts in there as well. So I'm like, okay, that I can work with that. So I decide to go ahead and put um, some of these up on foam tape just to give a little more dimension. And I'm using a really thin foam tape that I got at the 99 cent store that I really like. It gives you just a little bit of lift without being too dimensional. So I put the um, geotag up on foam tape as well and then these hearts I kind of fuss around with for a little bit but I, I do eventually get them glued down and you can see I put my journaling over there below the word today and now this is the other one it has a different little binder clip on it and I just go and put that there and then I wasn't quite sure where to with the heart so um, I go ahead and stick that one down and then I like that one so I kind of move my enamel dots around a little bit here to um, make room for these little hearts so I go ahead and I'm going to put these last two little hearts up on foam tape as well 
I don't know why it's so hard to place some little tiny thing that's, you know, shouldn't be that important, but I don't know. I know I wind up fussing around with things like that sometimes. So finally I just go ahead and commit. And then I think, you know what, that's, that's done. It's a simple layout. It tells the story and there I circled the, the month and day it has the backhoe selfie here and now an awesome and then some the good stuff and then today and the journaling and the other clip and enamel dots and so I really like it I like how clean and crisp it is and I think it'll be good um, in amongst the other layouts that I have in my uh, farm scrapbook so anyhow that is my finished layout if you have any questions or anything just leave me a comment below and if you're interested in seeing some uh, videos of the farm I'll put the link to that channel down below thanks for watching guys bye